वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इरेडिएशन इरेडिएशन मींस द टोटल रेडिएशन एनर्जी इंसिडेंट पर यूनिट एरिया पर यूनिट टाइम ओवर एंटायर वेवलेंथ फ्रॉम ऑल डायरेक्शंस मींस इफ यू आर टेकिंग अ सरफेस द टोटल एनर्जी कमिंग टुवर्ड्स और इंसिडेंट ऑन दिस सरफेस व्हिच इज कवरिंग द एंटायर वेवलेंथ एंड व्हिच इज कमिंग फ्रॉम ऑल डायरेक्शंस इज कॉल्ड इरेडिएशन नेम्ड एज कैपिटल जी and its unit is watts per meter square and its incident radiation can, can go in three ways some of it can be absorbed by the material some of it will be reflected back and the remaining will be transmitted through the material and the amount of this absorbed reflected transmitted will be measured or represented in terms of ratios which are known as absorptivity reflectivity and transmittivity respectively first we will be seeing absorptivity which is given by Uh, letter or symbol alpha which is defined as the fraction of total irradiation or fraction of radiation energy incident on the surface from all directions over entire wavelength that is absorbed by the surface if capital g is the total irradiation and out of that capital g if g alpha is the amount of energy absorbed then absorptivity is ratio of total energy absorbed divided by total energy incident which is measured over the entire wavelength spectrum and which is coming from all directions this entire wavelength is important and from all directions is also important and next similarly reflectivity is the total amount of energy reflected back uh, covering entire wavelength from all directions to the total energy it is incident similarly transmittivity tau is the ratio of energy transmitted to total energy incident so if you are seeing the total energy incident will be split in three ways absorbed reflected and transmitted so g alpha plus g rho plus g tau will be equal to total irradiation and if you are taking the ratio of with respect to total irradiation g on both sides then you will be getting alpha plus tau plus rho plus rho equal to alpha plus rho plus tau equal to 1 that means sum of absorptivity reflectivity and transmittivity will be equal to 1 so now we have discussed about the irradiation which is covering the entire wavelength and coming from all directions now we will be talking about the monochromatic or spectral irradiation means if you are uh, calculating the total radiation energy incident for a particular wavelength say if you are considering a wavelength of 1 micrometer then how much radiation energy is incident for that particular wavelength so for a specific wavelength the radiation is referred as monochromatic or the other term is spectral so monochromatic or spectral irradiation is the irradiation for a specific wavelength mathematically it is expressed or designated by this symbol g alpha this is monochromatic irradiation which is the total radi irradiation for a specific wavelength it is dg by d lambda so total irradiation can be found by integrating this monochromatic g lambda with respect to d lambda for the entire wavelength so g equal to 0 to infinity g lambda d lambda this is the uh, relation between total and monochromatic irradiation similarly the uh, ratios absorptivity reflectivity and transmittivity can also be Uh, explain for this a specific wavelength according to which you will be having spectral absorptivity alpha lambda which is the fraction of monochromatic irradiation absorbed if the total radiation energy incidenting for a wavelength the lambda is g lambda out of that also some will be absorbed that is g lambda alpha which is absorbed for that particular wavelength and that ratio will be known as spectral absorptivity similarly you can have spectral reflectivity rho lambda equal to this expression and similarly spectral transmittivity equal to tau lambda that can be expressed here so if you are uh, taking uh, the radiation total uh, irradiation which is incident for a particular wavelength lambda as g lambda this is the monochromatic irradiation or spectral irradiation this will be equal to g lambda alpha absorbed for that particular wavelength plus g lambda reflected plus g lambda transmitted 
in another way if you are taking the ratio with respect to g lambda then the sum of spectral absorptivity spectral reflectivity and spectral transmittivity will also be equal to 1 this is another uh, result next we will be seeing how you can obtain the this total absorptivity from spectral absorptivity alpha lambda the total absorptivity alpha is uh, represented as total amount of energy absorbed with respect to total irradiation which is incident on the surface this total amount of energy radiation energy absorbed can be found with respect to this spectral absorptivity which can be evaluated over the entire range 0 to infinity spectral absorptivity alpha alpha lambda into g lambda with respect to d lambda divided by total radiation will be the total integral over 0 to infinity g lambda d lambda this is total absorptivity from spectral absorptivity similarly you can find the total reflectivity rho equal to 0 to infinity spectral reflectivity into g lambda d lambda divided by 0 to infinity g lambda d lambda similarly you can find the uh, total transmittivity from spectral transmittivity also and here I will be seeing some not points based on this uh, values of alpha uh, rho and tau first we will be seeing an opaque body what do you mean by opaque body opaque body means which is not transmitting anything means transmission is zero means for any body which is having tau equal to zero then that body is known as opaque body for such a body sum of alpha and rho will be equal to one and next we will be seeing a white body white body means which is reflects all reflects all the radiation if it is reflecting all the radiation then its reflectivity will be one rho equal to one then the values of absorptivity is zero and the transmittivity is also zero for a white body next we will be seeing an important body here i will be naming this only details of this will be discussed in the coming videos which is a black body black body is a body which is absorbing everything which absorbs all radiation which is incident if it is absorbing everything then its absorptivity will be equal to one alpha equal to one for such a body reflectivity is zero and transmittivity is also zero this is considered as a reference body in the case of radiation study about which we will be studying in detail here along with this we will be seeing two cases of reflection if incident radiation is coming onto a very smooth highly polished mirror like surface then it will be perfectly reflected back at the same angle this happens only for a this highly smooth surface and such a reflection is known as specular reflection if the surface is on the other extreme which is very rough then this incident radiation will be scattered in all directions so this uh, reflections will be coming in all directions such a reflection is known as diffuse reflections in real bodies the reflections will never be perfectly specular never be diffuse it will be a combination of this specular and diffuse uh, reflections this is just a not point a problem on total irradiation based on the spectral irradiation or monochromatic irradiation given we know that g is the total irradiation which is measured over entire wavelength from all directions and g lambda which is the spectral or monochromatic irradiation this is for a specific wavelength the unit of g is watts per meter square and the, the unit of spectral is watts per meter square micrometer if the uh, wavelength is measured in micrometers here the spectral distribution of a surface radiation is given along x y axis g lambda spectral is given and along x axis the lambda is given 
and here you have to find the total irradiation you know the relation between this this is total and this is spectral or monochromatic you know the relation between this total and the spectral uh, irradiation you know that the monochromatic irradiation g lambda is given by the dg by d lambda or you can find the total irradiation g will be equal to integral 0 to infinity g lambda into d lambda so if you are having a plot between the spectral this is spectral distribution and this is wavelength from this mathematical expression you can find that the total irradiation, irradiation can be found by integrating or it is simply the area between spectral and wavelength plot so here the spectral distribution is given or uh, the total area you can find by simple mathematics here three parts are there one triangle plus rectangle plus triangle so total uh, irradiation will be equal to this integral 0 to infinity g lambda d, uh, d lambda or it is the area of this g lambda d lambda or lambda graph so here you can find first you are having a triangle whose area will be half into 5 this is lambda I measured in micrometers and this is watts per meter square micrometer so this you will be getting in units of watts per meter square half into 5 into 1000 for the first triangular part next is 1000 into 20 minus 5 which is 15 plus third part is triangle half into 5 into 1000 so this half into 5 into 1000s are 2 times so it is 5000 plus 15000 which you will be getting 20 thousand watts per meter square which will be the total irradiation that is the radiation energy incident onto the surface from all directions for the entire wavelengths.